Connolly, BBC News. We can speak now to uh, Blaine Roberts, who's the founder of Liver Peddler Pool. That's an organisation that helps to steer youths away from criminal activity, gang culture and life crime through cycling activities and workshops. Blaine, good to talk to you. I, I just wonder how much of the problem is down to social media. It, 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 you tell me. Well, I think social media can be a big part of it because it is glamorising. It is gl glamorising that lifestyle and that gang culture. And um, that's what you need to target before you target knife crime. You need to target why these lads are getting into that lifestyle, why they're getting into the gang culture, because it's hard to get out of it once you get into it. But that's what you need to do. You need to prevent these, these uh, knife crimes and uh, knife crime incidents and tragedies before they actually happen and take place because um, I believe the police can't arrest the way out of this problem. It's got to be solved at the root source, which is uh, targeting this ga uh, gang culture and gang lifestyle. But how much of that, it, you, you talk about glamorising it through social media, how many people are being introduced, being brought into that gang culture because of what they've seen on social media? Well, there's not, there's not a lot of opportunities for these lads, so they're going to the streets and um, this gang lifestyle, this gang culture, it's appealing to them, making money is appealing to them and um, it's, it's easy for them to get, in, get into the wrong crowd and get roped into that lifestyle. And what I'm doing with Liver Peddler Pool here in Liverpool is giving them opportunities to get away from that lifestyle and create a healthy lifestyle. And um, that, that's what we're doing here. We've set up like Liverpool's first mountain bike team and we're competing all across the UK this year. And um, we're getting, giving lads opportunities with videographers, photographers, and it's about giving them a new path in life, new opportunities and a whole new lifestyle to get them away from the gang culture and um, it, it mainly the, the knife crime epidemic that's here in the UK. Blaine, how much of the problem here is because, and what you offer is the chance for for younger people to get out and, and get into another postcode. How, how big a deal is that? I know it sounds silly, but, no, but it it, that's no. an issue, isn't it? Well, of course. So um, in May, when I set up Liverpool Peddler Pool, the, the aim was to break the postcode barriers here in Liverpool because it's something that's never been done before. And um, postcode barriers, a lot, a lot of the knife crime issues and a lot of crime stems from um, postcodes. And, so getting the lads and the youth away from their own postcodes into new postcodes into the big city, what Liverpool is, and even the bigger country that the UK is, getting them out of their postcodes is a big thing and it's a big way of uh, preventing such crimes from taking place in the future. Some, some, some people that you're dealing with on a daily basis, that they've never known any other culture. I mean, how do you change their lives? So that, that, that's what the aim is, we're changing these kids' lives. Um, some of them come from uh, all kinds of backgrounds and, and um, they might not have father figures. Or, and what we're doing is we're creating a family and a community for them to be a part of and to feel like they're doing something positive. And um, it's, it's, it's making a huge impact on these, these youths' lives here in Liverpool already. Um, the Instagram's blown up, I've been doing it for eight months and already I've seen a lot of impact. So, uh, a lot of impact. I do a lot of intervention and I mentor a lot of these kids like the own. If I'd said to you ten, five years ago, you're going to be a father figure, you'd have probably laughed at me, wouldn't you? Of course, because um, I'll be honest, I, 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 I had a bit of a problem past like a lot of lads here in Liverpool and all over the UK and that just stems from a lack of opportunities, um, a, lot, a lack of jobs and especially in Liverpool, it's, it's the street life, it's... It's a thing that's so easy to get roped involved, uh, roped into. Do you think there's an issue here for, for my generation, for people like me, who need to understand what's going on rather than saying, oh, we ju you just need to put down the knives and move on? No, you can't, you can't just tell them to put down the knives without giving them the opportunities, the life experiences and uh, most of all the lifestyle change that I've just talked about. Um, of course it affects yourself because we shouldn't be opening the newspapers and listening to the news to just another child's dead. It's, it, it, it's, too, it's too late, yet yeah, it's too soon. Um, the police can't tackle it. You've got to tackle it before these crimes happen. And um, So, yeah, I think it does affect all of us in the UK. Blaine Roberts, has anybody said thank you to you lately? Um, I, I do get a lot of support, I, a lot of families. I, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of families who, who are coming to me for help with their children to intervene in um, the, the, the crimes that they're involved in. So, yeah, I do get a lot of thanks. Well, Blaine, thank you. Lane Roberts there, joining me from uh, Liverpool. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.